Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our guest special video on the SBC player review analysis. We've got Christian Teo. Is he worth it on the new What If promo team two? Also, we did the whole full team two analysis review similar to this, but on every single player. So check those out. And if you guys need help day trading or on, if you need help with trading on FIFA, guys, make sure you guys come to check our daily trade series out where we break down the market every single day for you guys and what you should be doing in the market that's why you're here that's what we do all right we do player reviews and trading tips guys that's what we do that's what we do make sure you follow and subscribe for more guys but basically it's high attack medium work rates you guys know this okay so 183k for this card he's actually not that pricey 80 83 84 so what are we talking about here guys is he worth it is he worth it first off we always like to break down the player traits and the stuff so speed dribble that's nice but nothing else okay that's that's not great right so the work rates are decent skill moves weak foot all decent right but we're really looking to that point where you know we really want those five star five star type of players we want five we want five star weak foot or five star skills kind of you know what i mean so it's just a little bit underneath the meta but not too bad not too bad but he also is a unique link with that right mid remember the guys these cards can't upgrade so imagine every single point with plus two so you know here we are with pace so we'd be going up to 95 97 potentially and then shooting stats are going to be decent passing stats are going to be decent dribbling stats are going to be decent his composure however is low and that's a stat that does matter in this new age game and also strength is somewhat down there as well now let's break it down with uh kim style and see if you guys if he is worth it. 183k is really not too bad currently given the saturation in the market now if we throw a finisher on him he's going to come off and he's going to be like a 90 overall so you know you add two points a shot you add two points of finishing that's 99 90 or 84 there 82 you know 88 we were looking at 82 here so you know i wouldn't touch the passing i think the passing is decent enough to where you'd want to just boost these and so if you're giving just putting the finisher on man he's going to feel superb he, he's going to feel quality on ball he's 510 he's not too big he's not too small uh so you know i think this is i think i think this one could potentially be worth it especially if you know you don't have like that super sub that you really really you're like mm, i just don't think he's he's good enough to be, be put in he could be even a decent super sub he's unique links he's got that right that right uh the right side of the the La liga season so in my opinion this card really could actually be worth it um but 183k it's up to you guys that's a you know it's a steep push for a right mid that you could potentially be that could potentially upgrade and then be decent and or be just a super sub so uh that's my take on it me personally i will not be completing this because he just doesn't fit my squad i've got kuleski i've got robin and figo now so there's no point for me to do it but he could be worth it for you if you had that La Liga team. All right, guys, that's all we have for you on this one. Player analysis, really quick, really short. That's how we like to keep it. Make sure you guys tune in and come by our stream for more tips, tricks, and trading tutorials.